Another thing for performance purposes, it may seem a little counterintuitive here, but exclude statistics when you export from a database. The reason for that is that uh, exporting and importing statistics are both relatively slow compared to just building the statistics on the import side after the import. Now, the, the syntax for excluding statistics is slightly different for a, a regular dump file job than for transportable table spaces, but it's a good idea to do this in both cases. Then after the import, refresh the statistics on your target side. It'll be faster and it'll take into account any differences in the layout on that new target system. Another good thing to do on import is to convert your old basic file logs to secure file logs. Secure files were a feature added way back in 11.1, and they've been fantastically successful in improving performance on tables with lob columns. The main reason for that is that basic file lobs, the old style, prevent us from doing any parallel DML, and that means selects as well as updates and inserts on a table with a basic file lob column. So if you convert to secure file on the fly as part of your data pump import, you'll find that your activity on your lob tables has a lot less contention and it's just so much faster. Plus there's other functionality that you can add if you have uh, the compression option, security options, you can add deduplication, you can add encryption of those logs. When you are exporting in parallel, please make sure that you're going to use multiple dump files. We like to wildcard as a way to have multiple dump files because that allows you to have up to a default of 99 files with percent %u, that's the original way of wildcarding, or with percent %l, a practically unlimited number of dump files. It goes up to over just over 2.1 million. With a combination of wildcarded dump file names and setting the file size, what you can do is have a set of dump files that are kind of bite size or easy enough to transfer around individually. So not a big monolithic dump file that could be difficult to store or manage. And then you can have enough of them that you can still hold your entire database even when you get into terabytes. And then finally, for performance, you might want to use compression to speed up your export. Originally, we just were able to say in 11.1 export with compression equal all, for example, we've now added more compression algorithms in more recent versions. Our recommendation is to use compression algorithm equals medium. Now, this does require the advanced compression option. And there are four choices now for compression algorithms. The basic one, that's the one that we started with back in 11.1 and 11.2. Starting in 12.1, you can specify low, medium, or high. And based on our testing, we recommend medium for most cases. It's going to give you good performance and good compression. So here's some examples of exports I did using our test version of a populated eBusiness Suite database, two different schemas, the XLA schema and the MSC schema. Both of them between five and six gigabytes of data. So not trivial, but not massive. But what you can see is the ratios that you get, medium gives a good compression ratio, better than basic, better than low in the first case, and same as basic and still better than low in the second case. And it gives you really good performance. With high compression, the performance can really vary. You can see in the first case, the time for high compression wasn't that much slower than medium, but in the second case, it was a factor of four different. And paradoxically, sometimes the low compression can actually take longer than medium. So the bottom line here, if you're going to use compression with data pump, we rec recommend saying compression equals all and compression algorithm equals medium. 